Hey guys, First Army Sarge here, and today I'm going to do a little, another thing in my part two of my series, Collector's Guide for Beginners. Um, today I'm going to do dress uniforms. Uh, so basically, if when a soldier was on off duty, or wasn't on in town and stuff, he would wear these jackets. These are called Ike jackets. Um, these were later issued early war they had something called four pockets instead of two you can see here they'd have four and they'd go pretty long out here one is coming i have a four pocket coming in the mail right now so yeah so here you have your ike jacket um he's a tech sergeant this is my great uncle's uniform uh he has here ruptured duck which means uh he had a whatever discharge he was discharged uh, from the army. He he got out in 1945. Started up in 1941. So as you can see here, that's the rupture duck. Here you have your inf uh, your brass collar tabs. This one marks U.S. Infantry, a uh, U.S. And then this one here is Ordnance, which is like you would, people would supply the ammo and the explosives to the army. Uh, here is his patch. He was in the first army. And as you can see here, these each stripe marched, marked six months in the war. So you can see he was in for one year, two year, three years in the war. And then here I'll show you how to identify these jackets. Hold on. Oops, I think I got this button too. Actually, I'll just do it on my next jacket. Um, here you have your dress pants. These, these were also what you would wear on those occasions. Um, these ones fit me. They're fairly big on the legs, but these are perfect condition. I think these are Mark 1944. I forget where I found it, but those are your dress pants. And then, hold on, two seconds. Two seconds. Let me get this out of the way. And then you would have your infantry NCO visor. The difference between infantry NCOs, or it's non-commissioned officers, that's like sergeants, and officers. Officers would have this on their jacket, I mean on their hat, instead of the circle boiling like, boiling like that. This is, I think, maybe unissued. I got this at a lot at a garage sale, but that's your infantry visor. Then here you would have your belt. This is an officer's belt, but this is all I have for now. And these would go on your pants, for sure. So you all know, but... And then here you have your your cap, overseas cap. These are really f fairly common to get. You can get them for like 10 bucks. Uh, so, and then here is my favorite, my first infantry division. 78th or 79th Infantry Division, Private First Class Ike Jacket. It's got the U.S. bullion, and then the infantry is coming in the mail right now. So, And then I put these up. I did a really bad job, but American Defense, Middle Eastern, European Campaign, World War II Victory. And then he's got two overseas bars for a year. So here, I'll show you how to find the dates on the jackets. As you go inside the jacket here, there should be a pocket inside here. You lift it up, and there should be a tag. On that tag, it will give you the date of the jacket. It's inside on the right pocket. So yeah, that's my uh, that's infantry guide for beginners. Uh, dress uniforms, Ike jackets are fairly cheap, or depending on what the patch is. Really, it all depends on the patch. Uh, they can go for anywhere between two hundred dollars to over a thousand, depending on what patches and different things and or, uh, yeah, historical significance it has. So uh, these go for around maybe sixty dollars. You can maybe fifty to hundred bucks, depending where you buy it from. Mine was thirty. You got it cheap, but then these belts, I got this for free inside of one of my uh, duffel bags that I got. I don't know how much these go for. And then the pants, uh, I don't know how much those are. Maybe $30, $40 you can get them for, depending on what condition. So, yeah. So, this is First Army Sarge, guys. 
please subscribe for more videos. I'm going to do another one of these. If so, comment if you like it, and I'll see you guys later.